Hey guys, I just finished making this Discord bot in PHP. It's super simple. Literally, you just type exclamation point joke, and it's going to respond with a Chuck Norris joke from a Chuck Norris API. If that sounds like something that you want to see how you build in PHP, feel free to stick around and check out the video. All right, so the first thing that we can do is navigate to this discord.com slash developer slash applications. Now, if you haven't already signed in, you're going to have to sign in with your Discord account. But once that's all set, you can click New Application, and you can give it a name. I'm going to call this PHP Tutorial Bot. Now you'll see we get an application ID and a public key. And if we scroll over to the left and we click Bot, we can click Add Bot. Let's say Yes do it. And let's click to reveal our token. You'll see with this one I am showing it but I'm actually going to regenerate it off screen. I just want to show it for this video, at least for the beginning. So I'm going to copy that. <clears throat> so now I'm inside of the project. For me this is just called Discord Bot. I'm going to open my terminal by holding control and pressing tilde. And inside of my terminal I'm going to type composer require team hyphen reflex slash discord hyphen PHP. For this, I'm going to say no. This is going to install it right in my current directory instead of the one above it. Once that's all done, I'm going to make two new files. I'm going to call one bot.php and I'm going to call another one key.php. Inside key.php, we're just going to create one function. It's going to be called get key. And this function is going to return a key. That key is going to be a string. For right now, I'm going to use this key that I already showed you. But as I said before, I will be regenerating it off screen. The first thing we can do is add our PHP bracket. And then we can say use discord backslash discord. And then use discord backslash websockets backslash event. We can also say use discord backslash websockets backslash intents. Lastly, let's load our directory. So let's say require once. And we're going to be saying we want to get the vendor auto load and then we want to do this exact same thing but instead we just want to grab that key let's say here key equals get key which should be returning our key value once we have that key value what we can do is initiate our discord bot we can do that by saying discord equals new discord. Now this is going to take in a series of options. We have a whole bunch of options that we could potentially add, but one that is necessary is the token. That token is just going to equal the key. And again, just so that you don't get confused, it is actually called a token, not a key. This is what you're going to be copying. And now I'm going to regenerate it off screen because we shouldn't need to reference it anymore. All right, now that I have a new key, I'm going to give this a little test run. The next thing that I'm going to say here is Discord, and I'm going to call the method run. And now what I can do is run php bot.php and it should be running. You shouldn't get any errors. If you do get any errors, just be sure to check it. And just to make sure we're doing the same thing, I will show you this new key. I can always just get a new one. But I just want to make sure it should look just like this, and your bot.php should look just like this. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to activate some of these. I want to give it message content intent, 
and the role administrator. And I'm going to save the changes. Now inside of the OAuth 2 page, I'm going to select the bot option. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go to this link. Now it's going to let me pick a server. The server that I'm going to pick is called Mike's Discord Bot Server. I'm going to authorize that, make sure that it knows I'm human. And now if I go into my server, we should see we have one offline bot. Let's see if we run this, does it go online? It does. So our bot is fully functional right now, which is exactly what we want. It does absolutely nothing, but it's working. If I end this, the bot should go offline at some point, maybe not right away. I have to refresh the page. Or maybe it just stays online. I don't know. But the point is, it turned online once we turned it on, which is what we want. Right now, it's technically offline. All right, what I'm going to do now is make it so we can read the message contents. I can do that by saying Discord, arrow, on, parentheses, ready. And then we're going to call a function here, an anonymous function, which is going to take in Discord as Discord. Inside this, let's just echo bot is ready. Now if I run it, we should see bot is, oop, sorry about that, I forgot to put a semicolon at the end there. If I run it, we should see bot is ready at the end of it all, which is exactly what we want. The next thing that we can do is get message data. So here what we can say is discord arrow on, then let's say message. with a function here, which is going to take in the message and Discord. And inside of this, what we're going to say is echo message arrow contents. Or sorry, just content. We're also going to spell function right because that's what we should be doing. And we're going to put a dollar sign before Discord. Wow. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's run this. And now if we go in here, you'll see I've tested this a few times before. But if I type test, it's going to give me test in the console. And I could type something else like hello world. And we get hello world. Now what we can do is interpolate this. So what we can do here is say content equals message content and then let's say if string position content and let's pass the command key which for us is going to be this exclamation point if that equals false we want to return if it doesn't let's just echo out the content Now if I pull up my Discord here, I should be able to type test and nothing comes out. But if I type exclamation point test, it comes out. That's exactly what we want. Now inside of here, we could essentially write all of our commands. Ours is just going to be joke. So we're going to say if content equals joke. Then what we're going to do is get a joke from the API and reply with the joke. So I'm going to be using Guzzle HTTP for this. So I'm going to say composer require Guzzle HTTP forward slash Guzzle. And inside of here, what I want to say is Client equals new backslash guzzle HTTP backslash client.
and then let's make a request so let's say response equals client arrow request and this is going to be a simple get request and we're just going to request a random joke API so then let's say echo response get body let's make sure we also put an exclamation there I actually don't like the way that this one's working so we're gonna switch it with the Chuck Norris joke API because I know that one works well so you'll see here if I type exclamation point joke we get our joke So what I need to do is say joke equals JSON decode and decode this whole response. Now let's look at this response and let's see if joke is of type object or of type array and how we can access the actual joke. So what we have here is an object, and we want to get the actual joke, which is the value. So let's say joke, arrow, value. Let's just set joke equal to that. And then what I'm going to do is say message, arrow, reply. equals joke so what I can say now is message reply and this method is going to take in the joke and ideally, if I restart this PHP bot, what it should be doing is if I say exclamation point joke, it should respond to me with a joke. And it did. Chuck Norris can climb waterfalls. And I can do it again if I want to get another one. If you're going to prison, simply tattoo property of Chuck Norris on your lower back. All right. So yeah. And if I'm doing something else, it won't respond with the joke. It's only going to do it if we say exclamation point joke. And that's kind of the simplicity of it, right? Discord bots are super easy to make. If I wanted to, I could maybe say exclamation point kick and then type in a username. And I could also program this to kick somebody. There's a lot of things that I could do here. So it's a really fun thing to play around with and learn a little bit about using the API. I'm going to leave a link in the description to the library that I'm using to make this Discord bot possible. Feel free to check that out, and if you think you could make this bot a little cooler or add some unique functionality, totally give that a try. If you have any questions on this bot or things that you could do to expand upon it, feel free to let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the content, be sure to like and subscribe because I release new content weekly just like this. Alright, have a great day. Take it easy.